वेलकम टू दिस ऑनलाइन कोर्स ऑन एप्लीकेशन ऑफ ओपन सोर्स सॉफ्टवेयर फॉर लाइब्रेरीज माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर शालिनी लिहितकर फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ लाइब्ररी एंड इन्फॉर्मेशन सायन्स राष्ट्रसंत तुकडोजी महाराज नागपूर युनिव्हर्सिटी नागपूर महाराष्ट्र ॲज वी ऑल नो इन्फॉर्मेशन अँड कम्युनिकेशन टेक्नॉलॉजी हॅज change the face of libraries the cost of commercial software the emergence of open source movement and the open source software will be rising day to day there is a need to study and impart the skills and knowledge of open source software to master student and for also working allies professionals so that they can utilize the full advantage of open source software for handling the functions and activities of the libraries hence this course has been proposed to provide the practical hands on training on open source software which are applicable to libraries this online course deals with various categories of open source software which are applicable to libraries for library automation for creation of digital library and institutional repository for content management for reference management for plagiarism detection tools and uh, for science mapping and data visualization tools all metric tools are also we are covering here the research profiling tools also we are covering and the online teaching tools we are also covering in this online course it will be six credit course of 15 week duration the objectives of this course are to enable the learners to know about various concept of open source software to have the depth understanding and practical hands on experience with various open source software and its application like for library automation digital library content management science mapping and data visualization for creating research profiles and online teaching tools it also enables the learners to get the knowledge and able to develop their skills in open source software and its application to libraries the target group and the eligibility for enrollment is the student who are pursuing post graduate degree in master of library and information science can also opt this course the student should have the basic knowledge of computer handling and ict application in libraries or the working allies professionals of all types of libraries those who are interested to do this course can also opt this course the certification will be issued after submission of assignments and the quiz also and there will be a portrait examination will be also conducted let us see the learning objectives or outcomes of this online course upon completion of the entire modules learner will be able to classify various categories of open source software applicable to libraries and explore the full advantage of open source software the students will also take a better decision about how to choose the more user friendly open source software and assess the open source software for libraries the student will also gain the knowledge and will be able to install use and implement the software for day to day activities of their libraries the students will enable truly master the open source software for library automation digital library content management science mapping all metric research profile citation management and online teaching tools let us see the course layout of this online course this course will have 80 modules and each modules for 30 to 35 minutes 
out of 80 modules 51 modules for e tutorial which is based on lesson plan total 9 assignments student has to submit after completion of each module of every week there will be 15 quiz learner has to solve and this course consists of 7 units let us see the major 7 units each uh, there are 7 units first unit will be on introduction to open source software second unit will be on open source software for libraries third unit will be on open source software for research in libraries fourth unit will be on hands on experience for digital library software hands on experience for library automation software and hands on experience on research measuring and profiling tools and the last unit will be on hands on practice for research and teaching tools so there will be seven major units are there in this online course. The first three units related with the theoretical aspects and rest four units are related with the hands-on practice or hands-on experiences. Let us see the first unit that is on introduction of open source software which includes overview of open source software types of open source software for libraries, then criteria for selection of open source software for libraries. Unit 2 will be on open source software for libraries and it consists of overview of library automation software, overview of digital library software, overview of e-learning and content management software, overview of science mapping and visualization tools, an overview of all metric software. So this is related with unit 2. Let us see unit 3 which is on open source software for research in libraries. It consists of the overview of reference management tool. Next topic we will cover in this unit overview of plagiarism detection software. Then third topic will be on overview of research profiling tools an overview of e-portfolio management. The fourth unit is related with hands-on experience on digital library software. So here, two software we are covering in this digital library. First is DSpace, its installation, administration, developing communities, how to develop the collection and how to do some customization part we are covering. Then second software, GSDL, we are covering in this uh, unit. It's installation, creation of metadata, how to upload the documents, then creation of digital library by using this Greenstone digital library software. Unit fifth will be on hands-on experience on library automation software and content management software. For library automation software, we are covering Koha software, how to install it, how to do the administrative work in Koha. Then some menus we are covering like cataloging menus, circulation menus and OPEC modules also we are covering. Uh, for content management, we are covering here Moodle software, how to install this Moodle software, how to do the administrative part, then how to create the content by using the Moodle software, then assignment and submission part also in Moodle software we are covering in this unit. Unit 6 will be on a hands-on experience on research profiling and measuring tools. So here we are covering some of the software like Vivexcel, its installation, analysis and how to present the result by using the Vivexcel software. Second software we are covering here on HitSight, how to do its installation, analysis and result presenting. Then for third software, OS Viewer, how to install the OS Viewer, how to do the data visualization and science mapping by using the OS Viewer. And here in this unit, we are also covering the research profiling tools. The seven unit will be on hands-on experience on research and teaching tools. 
so here in this unit we are covering plagiarism detection software how to install how to generate the report then next software we are covering here for mendeley its installation how to add the bibliography or citation or references how to create an online library and how to manage that particular library then next software we are covering here jotero its installation how to add the citation by using the jotero software online library then management citation management in this unit we are also covering online teaching tools like video conferencing tools how to create the videos editing and other software we are covering so all these are related with seven units we are covering in this uh, online course this course uh, will have four quadrant approach the first quadrant will be on video lectures and the engagement time for each uh, modules will be 30 to 35 minutes second quadrant consist of e content and which includes text material summary and some illustrations third quadrant will be on useful web links references and further reading the fourth quadrant will be on assignment and quiz submission we are also covering or including here some discussions and interaction live interaction by using the video conferencing tools and finally the evaluation and credits so there will be a three segments for this evaluation and credit the first is formative assessment of 20 marks for assignment then second segment is for quiz and which consists of 20 marks and finally the summative online examination of 60 marks will be there so in total 100 marks examination will be there and based on this 100 marks the final evaluation and credit will be done so thank you and happy learning and i hope this course will serve the purpose of the learners thank you